got two two videos for him. He's gonna be talking about a uh, a couple of events that had I guess that done happened to him. I don't know for sure, but he's gonna be talking about that. And I think I think it's another one he's supposed to be talking about too. But we just we're just gonna go ahead and go ahead and get started with this one. Um. He's talking about the airport. Airport is the worst place on the planet. <sighs> Let's get it. All right, so boom, I ain't done one of these in quite some time, but God damn it, I got something to say. First oh, Lord. Course, I done traveled down here to Houston, Texas, because I'm collaborating with the In The Clutch ENT channel for this entire okay. SummerSlam weekend. So we're going to have an in-house, in-studio reaction live stream for SmackDown SummerSlam. Oh, they ain't, oh, he ain't Houston. I know, sure I know that's where he been this at. Evening and the following dates throughout the entire weekend. But flying down here, went over to the airport, and you already know I got a couple of problems. First and foremost, TSA... What's wrong with y'all employees? Let me tell you something. I ain't telling Man. you job. All right, I recognize it may not be a walk in a park. It may not be the happiest location. It's always something about TSA. Hours of the day. It's 6 a.m. You screaming at the height of your voice. Telling people to take off their belts, take off their shoes. You can't say that. Yeah. Long. Manner, especially because yep. you got individuals who just so happen to be walking around the line to inform people that they got to take their shoes off, take out their electronics, whatever the case just so happen to be. But do you got to scream in people's ears? It's getting ridiculous. I'm standing in line waiting I know. to get to I go through it all the time. Suitcase on the goddamn, you know, uh, uh, the scanning joint. And for whatever reason, you scream, take off your belt, take off the shoes, take out your electronics, one laptop per back. What you screaming for? You in my ear, we ain't children. The fuck wrong with y'all? Man, there you go with that bullshit. <laughs> Gonna make matters worse before we even make it to TSA. This for the individuals who just so happen to go and get their ID scan, their boarding pass scan. Yep. Is there any reason why you wait until the last moment to do so? Fucking retard. You was in line for 20 minutes. You get to the front. Now you patting your goddamn pockets. You searching deep into your bags. Right? Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like, like them. I they do not like them. Pass your passport just so happen to be. What is the purpose of waiting that long period of time and not preparing when you get there? And now, piece of me is kind of having a bit of cognitive dissonance because perhaps I understand why TSA screaming at the top of their lungs because you don't stood in the line for 25 minutes and you decide to take your belt off in front of the scanner. You decide to go take off your goddamn jewelry, all of your electronics out your pocket. You got yep. your phone and in be your hand, taking a phone call, walking through scanning. I can't believe I'm ringing off, slowing people down. My flight boards in six minutes. Oh, move your dumb ass out the way. Again, ridiculous. What's the purpose of waiting this long period of time in order to get yourself together to finally go through? Then when we make it to the doggone gate, all of a sudden nobody know what group they in. They, say they, they don't know what group they in. Sky priority. Active veterans. Uh, uh, we, we also have first class. You and motherfucking group F. You walk into the front. Oh, I didn't know I could board at this time. They got a screen there, stupid. Exactly. Bullshit. Don't even get me started in the passenger drop off, passenger pickup location when you make it to the airport. Motherfuckers having a goddamn family reunion when you're supposed to just drop Oh my god. Off. You had all this time in the car to catch up and talk about what it's going to be like where your friend or family Yeah, I know, I know, I friend. know. But oh no, you want to get in front of the car when people is waiting to go drop people off. You want to stay over there and have a goddamn conversation that last 90 minutes. Move your dumb ass out the location. That okay. Tell me this. Have any of this had happened to y'all? Because right now at this point, this had half of this i'm not gonna say all of it half of this has happened to me the whole thing i mean i have i have a daughter and i pick her up all the time from the airport pick her up and i drop her off because she stays with her mother every time i go and visit that freaking airport it don't care i don't even care if it's the one that's in my area or in a different state for some reason, everything he pointed out in this video is pretty much done happen. If not all, I know at least like two or three. You got those that sit up there and just feel like, oh, oh, where's my boarding pass? I, come on, bro. 
that's the first thing you're supposed to have out all the time. Boarding pass, ID. And depending on where you're going at, you might need your passport. But I'm just saying, you, you need that out. So you can get to the TSA part. So don't, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And when it's passing the pickup time, all of a sudden, all these fucking Ubers, taxis, all these people harassing you. You need a taxi, 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 taxi. No! Yeah, that has. <laughs> they don't call my lift. They can't make it here because you taxi motherfuckers taking up all the location, harassing people. Fuck you, bitch. Now that I think about it, why is all the food and drinks only for price <laughs> in the airport? Motherfuckers, it's always been. Is eight dollars. Nah, nah. See, I knew he was going to touch that because that has always been coming on from the day that I set foot in an airport. Somebody, it, I don't care what anybody say. The airport is a ripoff. I've always said that, but at the same time, I always tell everybody else. The airport is a lot of convenience fee. It's a big convenience fee. It is. That's what I call it. I don't know what they call it, but I know I call it convenience free because it's like it's there and you're at the airport. So they just feel like they just got caught, you know, do a convenience fee, you know. It's stupid. Why it got to be so much, but that's what I call it and that's what it is. I ought to freaking strangle you with the mozzarella. So it's getting ridiculous. I know I got to throw out my fluids when I arrive at the airport. But do you have to jack up all the prices for any kind of beverage? Because you know there's no other location I can get it. You got about six water fountains in the entirety of the airport. So I know it's very strategic that you just so happen to do this. That's why I always walk in with an empty bottle. Go find that refill station. Fill up my goddamn water so I can have something to drink when I'm on the flight. And I ain't got to pay you no motherfucking money. But you got damn got one refill station in a terminal that they refuse to make sure that people even know it even exists you just so happen to pass one by circumstance like oh shit i'm up but if you ain't see one you about to be parched your entire flight unless of course you want to pay 18 dollars for two bottles of water it's getting ridiculous bro. it's getting ridiculous this is me off it's a whole business and we the motherfuckers getting ass fucked you got me now what's wrong with people she get me upset. Then when you're trying to make it to the goddamn gate, you got families of six spreading out, holding hands like this. The motherfucking us. Oh, my God. God. Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere. Why the fuck are you spreading your goddamn generations in the fucking pathway? Now I got to stand behind yep. your dumb ass. People getting on that. I don't want to say it's like an escalator, but that thing that moves you forward when you're walking and you can stand on there and you can kind of. I know you're talking about. walking or whatever the case may be. Move to the side. Leave a walkway for people to walk past you. Exactly. What you spreading out for? Shit. Now, the one he was talking about is about the spreading out part. That's a pet pee of me. Reason why I say it's a pet pee. And for those who know, I'm a delivery driver. And I deliver to one of the one of the big malls in the area. They get on my nerves so freaking much. They hold hands. They either holding hands or they're standing side by side, like move over, break into twos, or move over. You don't have to sit up there and hold hold a whole line full of stuff. You know, full of people. It's like three or four of y'all, and y'all holding up a whole line like we playing like Red Rover and all that. Come on, man. Like seriously, break into twos or walk in a single file line. Do something in that nature, and then let somebody go by. You know, y'all. There's no need for you to be walking, walking like that, yo. For real, side by side. Ridiculous people got places to be. My flight boards in four minutes. You slowing me down. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous, bro. It's the same shit that happened when you go to restaurants. We in line for an extended period of time. Or I should say fast food locations. You in line for an extended period of time. You get to the front. Can I get a? You've been staring at the menu for fifteen minutes. You still don't know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's ridiculous, bro. I'm tired of going to the airport. Well, what did you just get TSA pre? I have TSA pre. This is bullshit. For what? 
It's getting ridiculous. Pull up to the airport. It should be incredibly easy to go through. It should. Where you want to go. Have your information already in hand. Already in hand. ID behind your phone case. Have nothing else in your goddamn pocket so you can go one, two, three inside. Easily get through. But motherfuckers want to be stupid. You got jewelry in your motherfucking shoes. For what? You wearing every piece of electron. You got the motherfucking USB cord as a chain going through the goddamn scan and wondering why you ring it off. Come on, man. You got every electronic under the sun sitting inside of a motherfucking purse and you try to walk through motherfucking scan it with it's getting ridiculous. It's I'm crazy. I'm tired of stupid people having to go to different particular locations and I just so happen to be in the same vicinity as you and you slowing up my life. It's getting ridiculous. Let me tell you something right now. Next time I go into the goddamn airport, which will be on Tuesday evening, let me tell you something right now. If I try to go through TSA, <laughs> for one, I got the agent screaming in my ear. I, for two, I got other individuals trying to go through scanning, and they taking their goddamn sweet time taking off their stuff. Number taking their sweet time. The gate, and people don't have their boarding pass ready to get on the goddamn flight, slowing me up. We gonna have problems. I'm going to call in the enforcer, Chris. Here comes call in Chris. Tell me you watch the entire video, but you haven't subscribed. Oh, Hit that boy. subscribe button and become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the shadow realm. All right, people, what you feel like about airports? Because right now, at this point, I'm I'm very tedious over it. Very, very tedious over it. I don't, I do not care much about airports as much besides for you going to the destination that's pretty much about it but yeah airports is a pain in the ass it is i just don't you have very small margin a very small margin of good things that go on with the with the airport it's just it's a hassle man for the most part it's a hassle it just that and they always say it's like oh make sure you can't you be there two hours in advance i'm like don't nobody want to be there two hours in advance when they can actually get there to where they need to be at within an hour you know but i get it be there early so you have to rush and all the other stuff yeah i get it i get it ah. It shouldn't be like that, but you know, it is what it is.